While we all have enjoyed the 8 Harry Potter movies, somehow it seems like it's not enough, considering how much details were left out from the books. In today's video, we're going to see extra scenes from the movies. What I mean is Harry Potter deleted scenes that have been cut. Now if we put all these scenes together, we're gonna end up with a 16 minute video or more. That's why I'll be picking one best deleted scene from each of the 8 movies we have. And I'm going to stop and explain some points instead of just playing the scenes. Before we get started, 97% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so please do me a favor and subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. Now let's get into the video. Starting with the Philosopher's Stone, there aren't a lot of deleted scenes in this movie, these scenes aren't necessary and really not adding anything to the story, so there is no competition between which scene is the best. But if I have to pick one from this movie, it would be this. It was on Christmas in Great Hall. This moment was right after Harry had used the matter of Erisit and seen his parents for the first time. What I like a lot about this scene is the friendship between Harry and Ron. While everyone is busy having dinner, Ron is the only one who deduced what's going on and showed his care for his best friend. Next on, the Chamber of Secrets. After speaking Persetong in front of almost everyone, Harry became suspect of being the heir of Slytherin who opened the Chamber of Secrets that led many students to be petrified. The deleted scene I've chosen for this movie is the other students in the library speaking behind Harry's back about him being a person mom. So anyway, I told Justin tied up in our dormitory. I mean to say, if Potter's marks him down as his next victim, it's best to keep a low profile for a while. But why would he want to attack Justin? Well, Justin let it slip to Potter that he was Muggleborn. And you definitely think Potter's the heir of Slytherin. I know. He's a parcel mouth. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Have you ever heard of a decent one who could talk to snakes? They called Slytherin himself Serpent Tongue. Harry always seems so nice, though. And after all, he is the one who made you know who disappear. That's probably why you know who wanted to kill him in the first place. I didn't want another Dark Lord competing with him. The Prisoner of Azkaban While Hogwarts was guarded by hundreds of Dementors, Sirius was still able to sneak into Hogwarts. He did it twice in the books. The first one where he slashed the fat lady's pottery when she refused him interest. The scene was filmed in the movie, but the second attempt wasn't. Where he gained a list of passwords stolen from Neville by Crookshanks. He entered the tower and shredded Ron's bed curtains in his search for scabbers. So that's the deleted scene I've chosen for this movie. That is preposterous, Weasley. I mean, how could Sirius Black possibly get through the portrait hall? I don't know how he got in. I was a bit busy dodging his knife. The scene also introduces us to Sir Cadagan, the new guardian of Gryffindor Tower. Oh, he's, he's there, Professor. Oh. Sir Cadagan! Sir Cadagan! Ah! How may I serve you, ma'am? Excuse me. Is it possible that you let a mysterious man into Gryffindor Tower tonight? Ah! Ah! Like that. Certainly, good lady. He had the password. Checkmate. He had the whole weeks, in fact, on a little piece of paper. Ah! Which abysmally foolish person ah! wrote ah! down the passwords and then proceeded to lose them? Is it always going to be you, Longbottom? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Well, Sirius Black is gone tonight. But I think you can all safely assume that he will, at some future time, attempt to return. Now, I speak for the entire staff when I say, while we take every precaution to ensure your safety, it is incumbent upon yourselves to act responsibly. What I also like in this scene is Harry's enrage for revenge. I can't believe it. I could have killed him. He was right there. He was close enough to touch. In the Goblet of Fire, the night of Voldemort's restoration of his barrier and power, Kakarov had come to Snape, concerned about the dark mark on his arm. We don't see in the movies the conversation between Snape and Kakarov, except this short scene. So the scene I've chosen for the Goblet of Fire is this. 
it's happening again, like before. And soon neither you or anyone else will be able to deny it. I told you already, Igor. I see no reason to discuss it. You must. Ten points from Hufflepuff, Fawcett. And the same for Ravenclaw, Stebbins. It's a sign, Severus. You know it is. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Then perhaps you wouldn't mind rolling up your sleeve, huh? <laughs> you don't fool me, Severus. You are scared. Admit it. I have nothing to be scared of, Igor. Can you say the same? And there is Madai Moody listening to the whole thing. The Order of Phoenix The deleted scene I've chosen from this movie was shot at the same time when Dumbledore was speaking in the beginning of the year when Dolores Umbridge was first introduced to the students. The scene was on the other side, showing some teachers that I personally never noticed or paid any attention to their existence in the movie. And then there is Sibyl Trelawney. Her behavior is what drove my attention. Her reaction to Umbridge's speech was so weird and funny at the same time. Thank you, Headmaster, for those kind words of welcome. And how lovely to see all your bright, happy faces smiling up at me. All going to be very good. Friends. Although each headmaster has brought something new to this historic school, progress for the sake of progress must be discouraged. Perfect what can be perfected and prove the practices that ought to be Thank you, Professor Umbridge. That really was most illuminating. Now, as I was saying, this seeing this scene for the first time, I couldn't stop laughing, and I don't even know why they filmed it in the first place. Like, was it really important? But anyway, Deathly Hallows Part One. In this part, I can think of no deleted scene but this one. Harry and Petunia finally having a moment before the Dursleys leave. I have lived in this house for 20 years. And now in a single night I'm expected to leave. They'll torture you. If they think for a moment you know where I'm going, they'll stop at nothing. Do you think I don't know what they're capable of? You didn't just lose a mother that night in Godric's Hollow, you know. I lost a sister. The scene doesn't just stop here. Dudley finally reconciles with Harry, and this changes a lot about the character. I don't understand. Isn't he coming with us? Who? Oh. Harry. Absolutely not. Why? Why? Well, we'll be, 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 because he doesn't want to, do you, boy? Absolutely not. No. Besides, I'm just a waste of space, isn't that right, Vernon? Come on, Dudley, we're off. I don't think you're a waste of space. Thanks.
See you, big D. This beautiful scene, however, happened only in the books, where Dudley shook Harry's hand and thanked him for saving his life from a Dementor years ago. And finally, The Deathly Hallows Part 2. When Voldemort and his Death Eaters returned back to Hogwarts grounds with Harry supposed dead, there was a scene they caught which made me so angry is when Harry revealed that he was alive. Draco ran back to Hogwarts side after he has thrown his wand to Harry and you can clearly see him screaming Harry's last name. Well, this would have changed a lot of things. It would have changed the way we perceive Draco and how he switched sides after the Room of Requirements event. It would have completed his character rather than seeing him running away with his parents. This is clearly different than what had happened in the books, but it could have been a nice shot added to the movie. And another deleted scene bonus. 